Hello everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day today, and in preparation for the 5th Indiana Jones movies, I'm reviewing the previous ones that have come out, and in this video we're on the second one, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Now this was the second film released in the series, but it's technically the first one if you're going in chronological order, because it's really a prequel that takes place a year before the first movie. But if you haven't seen the movies, my recommendation would be to still watch them in release order, so watch Raiders of the Lost Ark first and then Temple of Doom. Mainly because I feel like Raiders of the Lost Ark is a better way to get introduced to the Indiana Jones character. But either way, it doesn't make a huge difference. So anyways, let's get into the review. And I have mostly positive things to say about this film. Once again, like the other Indiana Jones movies, it has really good action and all of the actors do a great job. It's really entertaining and it's fun to watch all of these characters. Now out of the original three movies, this is definitely the one that stands out because the other two movies focus more on the Holocaust era. But this one is set in Asia and has completely different villains. Because they set up this village that just needs these stones so they can afford water. And you just really care what happens to them. It's just so wholesome. And then when you actually get into the Temple of Doom, you have the bad guys that are doing these weird human sacrifices. And you have the slave kids. All in all, that's what I really like about this film. And another thing that really makes this one stand out is that you have like the best trio in the world in this film. You have Indiana Jones himself, who's already a really entertaining character to watch. And you have his sidekick, Shorty, the boy, and I have no clue where he came from or how he learned to drive. But that's the neat thing. Oh, and then of course, we can't forget the blonde whose name I forgot, but she was working as a dancer and then she came with them. And so just the way they interact is really funny because they all have completely different personalities and that's what makes it so great. This is probably the funniest of the original trilogy. Really, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I prefer Temple of Doom over both Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade. I just really like the simplistic story and our trio of characters. It just all works, and it's just such a fun adventure. And I didn't mention this in my Raiders of the Lost Ark review. I felt like in Temple of Doom and The Last Crusade, the story just flowed a little bit better than it did in Raiders, because Raiders probably has my favorite plot, but the way it was kind of structured, something just felt a little bit off. Still though, they're all great movies, and when I say Temple of Doom is my favorite, it's not by much. They are just very hard to rank. It's just such a good trilogy. Also, I think this film does really well visually, and it's really cool how they filmed it on three different continents. Now, there is one nitpick I kind of have about it at the very end when the bad guys are, like, falling off the cliff. There was, like, some weird digital composting green screen stuff. It just looked kind of out of place because most of the Indiana Jones trilogy just uses practical effects. But, of course, in that situation, you can't actually throw people off of cliffs and film it. I can't say I necessarily blame them. It was just kind of weird to look at. I definitely think making a prequel was a good idea. It was the right direction to go with the way they told the story and just the story being smaller in scale. And so like all three of the original Indiana Jones movies, it's just very fun to watch. And on the scale of 0 to 100, I will be giving this one a 94% and I definitely recommend it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.